the forehead of your robot. I never knew what I was watching half of the time. Sometimes my curiosity got the better of me, and I went browsing through the channels. Ever since the incident of Kaladin Local 21, in 1999, I have been suspicious about TV channels. Well, not as much as I was when I discovered Channel 24 on October 2nd, 2004. Channel 24 WGLA was a local TV channel really close to my location. They have been broadcasting since the late 60s, and have continued to do so. The shows the channel aired were interesting, to say the least. It had news, just like any other channel, as well as extra shows like any main media channel would do. But this one, wasn't a main channel, like any of the Fox channels that were near my location. I only got about six Fox channels, and that was it. Well, it was nice to see another channel added to the list of about 28 channels on my old TV. Every day after school, I would tune into Channel 24 to watch their top-notch TV programming, and high-quality shows and paid programming. On October 2nd, the day I first saw the channel, I was really concerned about their programming and their news coverage. It almost seemed weird to me, until October 3rd, where I got more used to their programs and schedules. It became a channel I would watch every day and be intrigued by their every show and news hour. October 4th was that golden day of Channel 24. The channel got tons of new shows to fill in some gaps in their programming lineup. The new shows were mostly made for teens and kids from ages 4 to 9. The new shows ranged from learning shows up to anime like Pokemon among other stuff. I almost grew an attraction to this channel after that day. October 5th, news was around 3 hours that day. Ranging from politics to top stories, those three hours of news had it all. It was great, but the paid programming that day was better. October 6th was a day of a movie marathon. Movies ranged from classic to western all the way up to action movies. It was a great day on Channel 24, until the next day came along. I stood up at 9pm to watch Channel 24 because I felt like it, and I was intrigued by their unbeatable programs and shows. It was going great, until right on midnight. Right on the stroke of midnight, the channel was hijacked by some other organization or signal trying to scare us. This weird subliminal broadcast intrusion message ranted on about some beast that was apparently possibly God himself. It started to type up J.E.S.U. before it was abruptly cut off and was replaced with a color bar screen. Channel 24 then sent a message on screen. We have detected an intrusion in our network. At exactly 12 2 a.m. on October 7, 2004, our signal was hijacked by another network or signal. We are doing our best to restore order. In the meantime, please hold as we attempt to restore our broadcast signal. Sorry for the inconvenience. It was then interrupted again by another signal intrusion, going on about some bibble, and how they were prophecy of whatever this thing was. Then it was cut off again, just as they were about to reveal the devil's name. Another message then appeared on the screen, this time from the people who were broadcasting the programs present. We are still trying to counteract against a signal intrusion we are currently experiencing. As we continue to remedy this hijacking, we encourage you to stay on in case we get closer and closer to fixing the issue. Programming is on a hold until further notice. Thank you for your patience. It was then intruded again and changed to more subliminal messages ranting on about Satan not existing and that Jesus is also the devil. The invader or invaders then took over the channel and modified the programs to be almost nightmare fueled. I never watched Channel 24 again after that, 